Well, hello everyone and welcome to Knife Delights. This is part two of how or why or did I become a case knife collector? And uh, I did part one and kind of explained, went over how I started to collect case knives. And I went over some of the patterns real briefly. And I'm going to continue on with some more of the patterns. So again, this is a smooth blue ice. And this is called the Pocket Hunter. A little two-bladed jackknife. And that's called uh, what Case calls a hunter's blade. And then it also has a clip point blade. So this is the pocket hunter. This one here. Oh, uh, let me see. This one here is the peanut. And a peanut in some ways is just, well, it's uh, any kind of a small knife in general. Two little blades there. So this is the case peanut. I had actually forgot to lay out one of the patterns in, in the first video. Uh, this pattern is called a half whittler, and again, it's a two-bladed jackknife. Got that uh, clip blade, and then a small pen blade. And there's a reason why they're called whittlers. And you know what? Instead of going through every definition, I would suggest you look online. Um, there's some great resources that go over all the patterns and the history of the patterns. I don't really want to get into that right now because this video would take forever. So this is just a little overview. So this is a half whittler. Okay, let's start up here with this one. Again, instead of the smooth blue ice, this is the... Uh, uh, white synthetic and this is called a mini copper lock and it's kind of a hybrid between a, a locking blade and the copper lock and the copper lock has one bolster that's curved up like that um, kind of like on the canoe pattern so that's a mini copper lock Okay, and then we go down here to the copper head, not the copper lock, but the copper head. And again, the one bolster is curved around like on a canoe. Has this nice clip point blade to it. And a pen blade. And this cover material is synthetic, but it's uh, lilac. Another pattern is called the teardrop. This is a, a small, like, fifth pocket knife. Sorry about the focusing there. Um, just a nice little single-bladed knife. So, kind of small. It's very slim. Good for, like, a fifth pocket, as I said, or a secondary knife. And, of course, all these knives that I'm showing come in different cover material. So... If you don't like the lilac uh, synthetic, you can probably find them in, an, in another cover material. All right, where do we go next? Okay, let's do this big one. And this is one of my favorites. It quickly became one of my favorites. Came out in 2022. It did not appear in a catalog. They started to add this to their catalog and stop mid-production. So this was almost like a limited run of the uh, the uh, Panama Trapper, and it is a big knife. Just look at that nice blade there. It's a big knife. Half stops in it there. 
And then another fantastic blade right there. Look at the belly on that one. Just a nice full belly down there. And we'll just compare them with a the Panama Trapper with a regular size trapper so you can see the size difference there. Alrighty. Moving on, we have the small swell center jack because it's swelled here in the center. Um, they do make swell centered knives that are uh, longer, bigger, and they kind of call those a Coke bottle pattern because it reminds you of a Coke bottle. But this is the small swell center jack. Got that clip blade there. And a pen blade. Well, I just see that uh, my list is not up to date. I need to update it here. I was missing uh, one knife off of my list. And, okay. Yeah, this is a medium Texas Jack. Get it to focus here. Again, this one, like the Panama Trapper, does not appear in the catalog. They stopped uh, in mid-production. So it's kind of like a limited run type thing. And it has a Warncliffe blade. And a pen blade to it. So I guess I got 18 patterns with the ictus symbol on it. Well now, I have goofed up. I got mixed up here. This knife here is a mini copperhead. So where was my copperhead? There's a full-size copperhead. And there's a mini copper head. And uh, it's got, the again, the worn cliff and the pen blade. I was afraid I'd get these knives mixed up just a little bit. There you go. All right, and then we'll get down here to this uh, smooth bone in ultraviolet. This, folks, is the medium Texas jack. So, of course, a jack knife just means it's a one or two bladed uh, knife, and if both blades fold out the same end, that's what makes it a jack knife. So, this is a medium Texas jack. Clip point blade there. Almost poked myself. I know you wanted to see blood, but. <laughs> We're going to try not to uh, draw any blood today. And then there's that pen blade. So this is the medium Texas Jack. And last year, the ictus, I think. This is just what they call a small lockback. So lockback knives are, are uh, very popular, of course. Buck, I'm not saying that they invented the back lock, but they certainly improved it when they came out with the Buck 110 back uh, many years ago. And of course that lock uh, mechanism has been copied by many knife companies. So there is a small lock back. Okay, again to the non- Ictus or the non fish symbol knives. We have this little pen knife here, as I said, and it's got a, a nail relief there, that little cutout, so you can so you can get to the blade real easy. See that there? And a pen blade. And nice uh, larger pen blade or uh, spear blade. Now, why are they called pen knives? Well, they're a small knife. Why are they called pen blades? 
Well, because they were quite literally used to uh, trim a quill so you could make a pen out of it. So a pen knife and the pen blade is a very, very, well, it's hundreds of years old. And uh, men would carry one around just in case they needed to make themselves a pen. Um, this knife, again, real briefly, is a Stockman. Uh, this was my grandfather's, and this uh, uh, this Stockman here was made somewhere between 1940 and 1964. And I know that because of the Tang stamp on it. And you can find Tang stamp charts on a, on a lot of these uh, knife companies that kind of indicates when the knives were made. Um, I showed you this trapper, and then there's this full-size canoe, my latest case knife. Well, I knew these videos would be long, um, so I wanted to cut it into two parts. Please, uh... Make sure and check out part one, where I go all, over all these other patterns. I hope this has uh, been useful to you. Please leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what your favorite pattern is. Uh, let me know if there's more that you want to know about a particular pattern, and I'll do my best to uh, explain it in a future video. This is one of the reasons why I like these traditional knives, these vintage knives. There's so many different patterns, and there's it's just a lot of fun to learn about them and to collect them. And again, this by no means represents all the traditional patterns, because there's, there's an awful lot of them out there. So, thanks everybody for watching. Um, I hope everyone has a very delightful day. And thanks again for watching, and thanks for all of you that have subscribed and viewed and supported me.